So a few days ago I asked you guys to come up with some questions for a Q&A video and you came up with a lot of good questions so today I'm gonna go through as many of them as possible but I'll probably make this into a two-part series. Now first up for the elephant in the room how to set up an arch for the bench press. Now first up I have never done any exercises to try and increase my mobility for the bench press. We can think of it a bit like this so what's gonna give us the most bang for our buck doing barbell rows for increasing our deadlift or deadlifting for increasing our deadlift. But then how did I actually build my bench press arch? Well, I've probably gained 90 plus percent of my arch from just one cue and it's probably the best cue that's ever been to a bench press in my opinion and it's simply just to reach the bar with your chest. What you want to do with this cue is try and focus on getting the chest up to the bar on the way down and in the pause. And that's going to give you the best possible position to press from on the way up. It's also going to give you the majority of your arch in your upper back instead of your lower back, which is where you want it to actually be. Now, I can't go way more in depth about this, and I probably will make a separate video just about this since it's a very large topic and it's hard to explain all of this in just one short segment of one video here. So I'll cut it here and say, try and reach the bar with your chest as much as possible and learn how to do a soft touch and that's going to give you the majority of your bench press gains. What should I do after finishing your 12 week program? So to those of you guys that don't know, a few weeks ago I posted a 12 week free program that everybody can use here on my channel. So the program itself is not a fully peaking program, however you should be pretty good at singles at the end of the program. So what you can do is a one week deload, I recommend doing pretty much the same as the last week of the program, just with around half of the volume and around a 20% decrease in intensity and then you can do your wonder max tests. So besides my first three to six months of training, I haven't really done overhead press at all. I have done it a few times with like four weeks of a slight overhead press. And last time I did that around a year ago here, I did 80 kg for a set of six, which is the best I've gotten. I could probably do 85, maybe 90 kg for one rep max, but I don't really know. I don't do it. It doesn't give me any carryover to my bench press and I don't really find it that useful. 